A common thread through the whole exhibit, Life at the Limits, is evolution, and specifically natural selection. Life on this planet lives within a very thin region called the biosphere, but it's amazing how variable that is in terms of temperature, in terms of pressure, in terms of different environments, wet, dry, hot, cold. The animals and plants that live in these places didn't always live there, and those environments are changing. Organisms within a population have variation, and they pass down this information to their offspring. If that information or those characteristics provide some advantage to the offspring, they're more likely to survive. And those that are more likely to survive, then are more likely to reproduce, then that trait can spread through the population and become established. So you get things spreading through populations that allow organisms to maybe move into a new environment and differentiate. Think of a cave fish, they tend to lose their eyes, they don't need them anymore, they lose their pigment, it's costly to produce pigment. So they're specifically adapted to live in a particular environment. And that's why we see all these spectacular forms, because over a long enough period of time, these changes do spread through populations. They confer an advantage, and you get all this diversity that you'll see and you'll be exposed to in this exhibition.